Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I am going to explain how you can install and set up Google Assistant on your Galaxy Watch 4, 5 or 6. Samsung watches come installed with Bixby, a voice assistant developed by Samsung. While Bixby is a good voice assistant, Google Assistant is still a first choice for many. I personally prefer using Google Assistant on my Galaxy Watch 6 as it is more efficient in my day-to-day -day use. While Bixby can perform better than Google Assistant in some cases, in my personal use, I have seen Google Assistant performing slightly faster than Bixby for everyday tasks like setting an alarm, giving weather reports, opening apps, etc. It is better and faster at recognizing voice and commands. Another reason to get Google Assistant on your Galaxy Watch is that it is also better at recognizing different accents and languages, making it more popular around the globe. Before starting the installation process, make sure that your Galaxy Watch is connected to the internet and is updated to the latest version. Also, make sure that you have Google Assistant already installed on your smartphone for quick and smooth setup. One thing to note here is that the steps to install and set up Google Assistant are similar for Galaxy Watch 4, Galaxy Watch 5 and Galaxy Watch 6. For demonstration today, I am using my Galaxy Watch 6. First, swipe up from your home screen to open the app drawer and tap on the Play Store icon. Now, don't go searching for Google Assistant there, which I also did initially. Instead, start scrolling down to find Manage Apps and tap on it. Now, you will find the Assistant app there asking for an update. Select it, then tap on Update. After that, you will see that the Assistant has started downloading. Shortly after, it will be installed onto your Galaxy Watch. Now that the Google Assistant is successfully installed on your Samsung Watch, let's go ahead and set it up. To set up the Google Assistant on your smartwatch, it is recommended to have your smartphone with Google Assistant already installed on it. Go ahead and open the Google Assistant on your Samsung Watch. After you tap on Get Started, it tells you to continue on your phone. You will see the setup process automatically being launched on your phone. During testing, I noticed that the setup process does not launch automatically if you are not using a Samsung smartphone. So if the setup process does not launch automatically, just open the Galaxy Wearable app on your smartphone and tap on Get Started on your Galaxy Watch again. After the setup is launched, just tap on Setup to manually initiate the process. Now, you will be asked to allow the permissions. To allow, tap on I agree. You will also get an option to skip this process, but I will recommend allowing the permissions for the assistant to function properly. And that's it. By following these simple steps, you can easily activate and enable the Google Assistant on your Samsung Galaxy Watch. Before you start using the Google Assistant on your Galaxy Watch, you would also want to select it as your default assistant. To set up Google Assistant as default on your Galaxy Watch, first, open Settings and scroll down to find apps. Now, tap on Choose Default Apps. After that, you need to open the Digital Assistant app. Here, you will see that Bixby is set as the default app. To change it, just open the default app and select Assistant. Tap on the check icon to confirm your selection. Now, Google Assistant is set as your default assistant app on your Galaxy Watch. There are two ways to launch the Google Assistant on your Samsung Galaxy Watch. You can use the voice command Hey Google to launch the Assistant or you can also launch Google Assistant on Galaxy Watch through side buttons. To activate Hey Google on Galaxy Watch, first open Settings, scroll down to find Google and then proceed to open it. After that, tap on the Assistant. Now, tap on the toggle in front of Hey Google to turn it on. Now, you will be able to launch the Google Assistant on your Samsung Watch by saying the voice command Hey Google. Right below Hey Google, you will also find Press and Hold. Tap on the Press and Hold toggle to turn it on. Then tap on the check icon. Now, you have to assign the home button of your Galaxy Watch to Google Assistant. To do that, go to Settings. Scroll down and tap on Advanced Features. Then, tap on the Customize Buttons option. Now, select how you want to launch it. You either select Double Press or Press and Hold. Select whichever option you want and proceed to select the Assistant. 
You can select any of these options, but I will recommend you to select the press and hold option as the double press option is more versatile and can be assigned to open many different functions, settings and apps. And that's it. Now you know how to install and use Google Assistant on your Samsung watch. If you found this video informative, then give it a thumbs up and comment on what would you like us to cover next. For more informative videos related to wearable tech, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. That's it for today's video guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.